Hi DF, I'd like to ask about what is the best way to use a low to mid-range GPU with a 4K TV. For instance, in a scenario where I can only get playable frame rates in 4K using DLSS Ultra Performance, uh, which is a nine times resolution boost, wouldn't it be better to, to lower the display resolution to a non-native 1440p for the display and use less aggressive temporal upscaling, maybe quality mode for a similar for, for a similar performance? Or similarly, if you're using if you're already using DLSS performance or even ultra performance at 1440p non-native in a 4K TV. How about lowering to 1080p quality for less artifacts and smoother performance with a similar base resolution of 720p? Does everyone in the panel share the same preference in these scenarios? And would those preferences change with an AMD GPU with only FSR2 available? So the idea here that uh, Struggling Shader is putting across is actually nothing new because we see it all the time on consoles. So let's take, for example, um, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora on the base uh, PlayStation 5 or the Series X. Um, you've got a quality mode that's upscaling to 4K, right? And I think you can say that based on the current sort of PC landscape, Series X and um, PC Jews, PC and PS5 rather, are using kind of low to mid-range GPUs, you know, 4060 class, that sort of thing. So yeah, Avatar, um, 4K quality mode, upscaling to 4K. Performance mode is upscaling to 1440p. And then there's kind of just a naive, probably Lancho's upscale from there to 4K. Um, so that's kind of what I think Struggling Shader is suggesting here on how to do it. Um, Oliver, what I mean, I, I think personally that you probably could be using a, a mid-range GPU or a low to mid-range GPU like an RTX 4060 on a 4K screen, but it's probably not the best idea. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. there's certainly different strategies to be able to make it happen. I, I think it, for DLSS at least, I think it depends on the circumstance and it depends on the game and the kinds of content that that game has. I think 4K ultra performance, if you have the power on tap for it, can be pretty reasonable depending on the game. Perhaps not for something like Cyberpunk, but games with simpler content, I think it can look all right. Um, but some of it depends too. It really does depend on how the game is implementing stuff like a post-processing and whatnot, because if you're running the motion blur, for instance, that internal res, you really like with Final Fantasy 16 on PC, for instance, I found that that looked really, really bad with DLSS at ultra performance <laughs> at 4k because mm -hmm. the post-processing was like 720p. But when I hiked it up to like 1080p internal, regardless of what the output was, it started to look okay with the post-processing there, with the motion blur, which is quite heavy in that title. So it really just depends, I think, quite heavily on the game there. Sometimes doing 1440p with a lower upscale factor, i.e. a higher internal resolution, will give you a cleaner visual result with than 4K with a really aggressive upscale factor there. But um, to this person's question, with FSR2, I would definitely say I gravitate towards lower outputs with higher internal resolutions um, when put to this kind of question here because FSR2 or FSR3 ultra performance at 4K uh, looks pretty bad, mm. but FSR2 balanced or quality at 1440p with like a length show subscale to, to 4K there for your display. Um, I think that can look pretty good, especially if you're sitting like a normal distance from a television like that. I think to me, the thing, the thing that stands out more than a uh, loss in clarity and detail between like a 1440p output and a 4k output with uh, upscaling there would be the presence of heavy shimmering or artifacts from frame to frame there and getting some of that temporal mm -hmm. instability that's the thing that i really want to protect against especially when i'm looking at a larger format television from a decent distance those those are the things that your eye tends to pick up more so for sure in those instances you'd rather go to 1440p with a less aggressive upscale factor, with a more conservative upscale factor there to give you, I think, the best quality image in the end. I think that's probably the route to go. Yeah, um, not exactly your wheelhouse, Tom, but any thoughts? Well, it is. Uh, I think my preference has always been NVIDIA, NVIDIA DLSS for you know just the handling of low resolutions, especially low, like ultra performance mode, 720p to 4K scales. But I think... Uh, looking at Struggling Shader's question at the start there, he's specifically dialing into using a 4K TV as well. So yeah. 
if you're like using a 4K TV, let's like imagine that you're not swapping in another monitor and you're really like looking to, you know, output at 1440p to a 4K display and then you ha- you've got kind of two forms of upscale going on at the same time, right? So it seems like I don't know if I'd prefer that over, I think I'd rather personally target the native resolution of the display uh, as much as possible to avoid the double upscale. But if you're resorting to 720p to get there, it's a, it's kind of a tough call. I think I've always preferred to have the final output at the uh, a matching one-to-one for the pixel structure of the final display. But mm. yeah, so that's where I'd yeah. go with that one. Yeah, uh, my thoughts on this. I mean, uh, Dragon Age, the Veil Guard is quite interesting in that you can actually um, set the upscaler to upscale to something like 1440p and then still specify a 4K HUD. That's a really nice thing to have. That's the one disadvantage on a PC of actually targeting the non-native output resolution is Mm -hmm. that the HUD will be at that non-native um, yeah. output resolution so That's yeah dragon age has kind of set the set the stage there but i i don't know i think that the main issue is addressing the native resolution for the output on dlss is that there's still quite a lot of internal processing that's going to be happening at native res like um native res uh post-process buffers and stuff like that That's true. Um, i think ultimately you're just going to have to adjust to taste and it probably will change on a title by title basis. Uh, what I have found, and I'm not sure it's a great um, uh, fit for a low to mid range GPU, but targeting 1800p um, from something like a 4070, you, it's, 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 you save a lot of performance on that. And the, the reduction in resolution on the HUD isn't really that onerous. Um, so that's something else uh, on a different tier of card. But, you know, yeah, low to mid range. We're talking PS5 quali- uh, level performance, really. It can be done, but it's 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 not ideal. 